Ah, well, hello everybody. And welcome to Turning with Terry on Monday. So today, we're going to be making a gavel. Um, out of green heart. Heavy wood, hard as nails. See how far we get, shall we? I'll just show you who we got uh, in today. The reprobates are. Joe, Pete Twisted the Trees, Mark the General Return, Same. and Brian from Heart Returning. Good Mental. afternoon, everybody. Uh, we <laughs> will be doing, was... keeping you informed, happy, and entertained while I uh, play. I'm the only one normal today, folks. It's my <laughs> only one normal today, folks. <laughs> oh, I, never a good thing. I shall see you in a minute. Mm. And I'll show you what we're doing. We'll just change the camera to, uh, I've got. I've got a new camera today, so that's why you saw me sitting down. It takes longer to change it than it does to bend it back upwards. So this is what we're doing today. This is the spindle. This is green heart. I've already turned the tenon on that and stuck it on a, on a chuck just to uh, save a little bit of time, as I have with, I might bring this over. This is the, uh, the head. I've already put a hole in it ready for the spindle. I usually put my, my gavels with a hole straight through and a wedge in the other end and glued. Then you can't hit them hard and fly off and kill somebody. So it's also going to be on a plate. This is going to be the sounding plate. However, there's a couple of big cracks. So I'm trying to go, go and try and turn this away. If I can turn that away, fine. If I can, I'll incorporate broken pieces in it somewhere. So. Let's get started, shall we? I'll leave you with the chat for somebody to. Uh, right, I'll read out the chat then. So, let's have a look. See you then. That's going to be a good plan, Mark. Yeah. Right, so we've well, got. By the way, you have to excuse me. I'm going to uh, put my mask on because this is a bit toxic, this timber. So. Okay, no problem. So, my list starts with Ruby Claire, Pete from Twisted Trees, Joe Senior, Mark Pritchard, Wood Wizardry by Colin. Chris Dodds, Mark Pritchard, I already said him, uh, myself, Charlie Taylor, uh, Terry Bartlett, uh, Ivy Woodshed, Steve Scott, Douglas Mungham, Patrick Hanley, Gary Y, Paul Hewton, the Greasby Turner, um, Robert Robertson, Chris Spinning with Dodger, Brian and Hot with Turning. That's me. That's him. Uh, Steve Hawley, Barry's with Creations, and Douglas Mungham. That's every. Rob C. Beast just joined as well. That's everybody Hi, on my list as well. I think you've also got um, Chris Spinning with Dodger. Chris Spinning with Dodger, yep. <clears throat> Wavy Woodshed has just said, apparently there's two to one on. Joe falling asleep today. Oh, I must admit I'm extremely tired because I've had a busy weekend. I've had a busy morning. So who knows? Right, folks. She's getting the excuses in already. Yeah, that Nelly, that Nelly with the excuse head. Uh, now, a question for you, Terry. Is Green Green Heart, um, green heart as yeah. hard or harder as Purple Heart? It's Green Heart. Oh, the they used to uh, manufacture piers out of. Um, so that the uh, it's, it's unthinkable. No, sorry, it's thinkable. It doesn't float. Uh, this piece of Green Heart was in a pier. Years ago, I hope you can hear me all right because I got this. I got this coming up and after. Um, it's been in uh, under the sea for quite a while, and as you can see, not a mark on it really. Two cracks in it, but it's um, almost as hard as leadwood, isn't it? African blackwood and ebony, it's almost as hard as those, right? Okay, because a lovely Fine. finish off the top. Well, let's cut it round. Now we're going to decide where we're going to go with the sizes. Uh, perhaps if we 
Clive Rogerson has joined us. Good afternoon, Clive. Good afternoon, Clive. Welcome. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming to my live today. Let's have you on. So. You have 34 watching, Terry. Oh, well done. We're only just Thank going. Excellent. Right. Jennifer's Craft and Creations has joined. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, that's Jennifer. So, we're going to have the cannon at this end. Go through the piece. That way we can test it before we take it all off. I'll just... So you're doing this all by know. eye then, Terry? I'm doing it by eye, yeah. I, I'm one of those that, uh, I like to uh, <laughs> do it without drawing, I just... Ter Terry doesn't do measurements. He gets confused between metric and imperial, so he just... Keep testing my artistic nature by eye. So if anybody got any suggestions that they think I should do something different, then let me know. Here we are. That's our depth. Just clean this off. Yeah. Speed up a bit, actually. It's only on a thousand rows. Fifteen hundred. Lewis is in the conduct craftsman. Hello, Hi, Lewis. Hi, Good Lewis. afternoon, Lewis. I've got a link in the chat to um, the Wood Database on Green Harp, something I've never used before. Turn my volume up, I can't hear you. I must, uh, I must have a look at this Wood Database sometime, do a bit of studying, because it's, uh... oh, it's a great resource. Yeah. Oh, Sidley 61's just joined. Hi, Sidley. Hi, Sidley. Hi, Sidley. Nice to come Hi, along. Thanks for coming aboard, boy. Steve Fleming has joined us. Good afternoon, Steve. Hi, Steve. That's a little bit ahead of mine, by the way. Oh, look at that. The shine of that with the skew. The shine, yeah. Incredible. Steve Fleming just joined us. Good afternoon, Steve. Keep up, Brian. Yeah, keep up. We've already said that. I'm just, paying, I'm just trying to pay attention here. I'm watching two screens at once, one on my left eye and one on my right eye, so my right eye is obviously not very good. <laughs> we'll just check that out a bit, isn't it? There we are. Design, design. <laughs> it's almost like you know what you're doing there, Terry. Uh, think of it. Nice design for a handle. Okay. Bring it Handcrafted has joined. Is that a new, is that a new is that, I was going to say, that's a new name. I haven't heard that before. It is. Welcome, Welcome along. Oh, is that a new name? Because he just said, please don't fall asleep, Joe. So he's obviously familiar with Joe's technique. Unless he just Thanks changed his channel that, name, Al of course. <laughs> uh, Douglas has a question, Terry. Are you yeah. doing a wedged tenon? I am. I am doing a wedged tenon. Blued and wedged. That way it's got no chance of coming off. Jennifer's asking what you're making. He's making a gavel and sounding board from Greenheart. If you look at the chat a bit, I've got a link in there for the wood database on Greenheart because it's um, 
Timber, I don't know. I think uh, Terry's used it once before, actually. You used it last week? Did we not use it on the uh, finial last week, didn't I? Yeah, on the finial, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, well, that was a good guess on my part because I wasn't here last week, was I, sir? Oh, you were. DMB, hand class, did you see DMB? Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. It's, it's not that he doesn't have much of it because he gives it away now, but look, only only to his friends, of course. Yeah. Robert Dorman's yeah, in. Good afternoon, Robert. I've got a few friends, but I don't know if I'll give it to somebody or not, man. Only his friends who live nearby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah. Only his loyal friends. Pa apparently it's very heavy, you can't post it. <laughs> Seth from Brickhouse Craftworks in. Hiya, Hi, Seth. Seth. Good to see you, mate. Good afternoon, Seth. So this green heart being uh, hard, Terry, obviously will blunt your chisels very quick, or does it cut easily? Yeah, very quickly. I'm expecting I might have to sharpen one before uh, too long. It's going to get very, very blunt very quickly. I used to make bearings out of this for engines. The steam engine used to make green heart bearings. Did you say the hodgepodge was in? Hi, Robert. Hi, Hodge. Keep up. I've already said that. No, oh, did you? Oh. Oh, oh. Even if you're still awake, Joe. I was waiting for that. Well, obviously, you're not. Oh, it's only page, isn't it? Hi, Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, Seth. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lewis. <laughs> Lawrence Brigade is in. Hello, oh, stop Hi, it. <laughs> stop it, right? <laughs> Go see the turning, boys. Come on. Turning, turning. Quite fancy doing a bit of turning with that too. I trust it's quite an expensive word. I, I would suggest it would be. Yeah. Although I have no idea, to be honest. I never thought about buying it. So, if anybody knows different. I don't know whether Snainton Wood Supplies has it. That Douglas, Douglas, over. yeah, Douglas Mungin has asked, where does Greenheart come from? South America. Yeah. yeah. Trees. <laughs> So where does purple hat come from then? Yeah. Now that's that's the kind of question the answer I would expect it from Doug, but not from you, Mark. <laughs> Doug Miller of Woodspot Rounds. Hi Doug. Good afternoon, Doug. You see the car's in hey. trouble already. There you go. Three people watching you, 
Terry. So, no, Terry, wait, wait, that last cut you just done there, Terry, using the point of the uh, skew. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. Yeah. Why did you do that? <laughs> uh, because to try and I can't see it. I can't see where I'm going there. All I can see is the top. All oh, right. Okay. If I do that. I can see right down the blade, so I can see that this one's going exactly uh, where I want it, no. straight in that. Yeah. Okay, mate. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. That's a good tip. Mm. Yeah. That's you know, Pete told me you can use the toe instead of the heel. Yeah, yeah you don't have to use the heel. The, the, heel, the heel is the um, you know the favourite. You can use the toe. I'm glad I asked that. Though. If you're coming down a um, a bead onto a flat, then you should always use the heel because you don't want to cut in to the, the base of the flat. The heel will give you more control of that bit. But pretty much every every other cut you're doing. You can use the toe just as easily, and you can see it, which is the advantage. Mm. But there is a slight disadvantage because it is slightly easier to get a catch. Sorry to hear that, Mark. I hope everything's all right, mate. Give her our best wishes. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Hope she gets well soon. All the best, Mark. The hope she's going home soon. Yeah. The finish off of that tool, though, is just amazing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? All the best, Mark. Yeah. Nice, simple shape. Simple as, as uh, sometimes the best. Well, the wood just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yep, it doesn't need a whole lot. Camera, Terry, I've just checked the link in for my live tonight, if that's all right, mate. Certainly, of course it is. Rex B's just joined. Hi, Rex. Hello, oh, Rex. <laughs> Good afternoon, Rex. Rex. You're all right, Rex. You haven't missed out much, really. It's just making a handle. It just looks very simple. <laughs> it does when there's an experienced man on the end of the tool, of course. I've started on me already. No, yeah. I'm not choosing a skew. Yes, I am making a bloody bowler hat box. Yes, you are. I'm making a bowler hat box, don't you, Mark? Got that. What do you mean, no skew? I'm not going to use a skew, no. Okay. There's, there's no need skew. for me to use a skew tonight. It would be it would be difficult to use a skew. And just after watching this kind of skew demonstration here. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going anywhere near it. Is that in there a bit tighter? Does it want to let me... Um... No, Robert Dolman, it's not true. And the, yeah, and no, it's not having a threaded lid, Douglas. <laughs> and it's not made of ebony. It looks like, isn't it? No, he's, he's cheaped out on the he's cheaped out on the timber, guys. I have to say, he's, he's going to make it out of a piece of pine, I think. It's not pine. <laughs> it's just that. There's a there's Where's a question you, for you, Terry. Yeah. Um, where the head meets the handle, how will you get round the bevel? Sorry, say it again. Where the head meets the handle, how will you get round the bevel? Uh, I don't know, really. You won't notice it that much because it'd be fairly small. I'll cut it down a little bit more, actually. Okay. You can't notice I, it. That's what I would do is I would draw a very small hole. Um, the size of the um, base that you've got there, so it slots in. Oh, yeah. basically, basically countersink it in a little bit. Yeah. 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 My usual way of doing that, anyway. That's, yeah. Good, good worm Paul's in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Richard Richard Paul. Richard joined as well. Hi, Richard. Ah. All right, good Richard. afternoon, no, Chris, My, there uh, is no Captain Vringers because they don't exist. 
it's better that's, than that's, the today. That's Richard, my wood dealer. <laughs> you have to you a wood dealer, you've got a tool dealer, you've got... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Right, that's, that, I think, it's only a simple standard design, so it doesn't slip off my hand, that's fine. That's I, I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway tonight as well. Or over under 90 grit, I think. Any more You've got 53 people watching, Terry. Oh, well done, people. You've been, going, tw you've been going 20 minutes, buddy. Sorry, mate. Plenty of time. It's a little bit in there, I need to get out. Roger Mills is in. Hi, Roger. Good afternoon, Roger. Welcome. Hi, Roger. But Terry, did, Terry, did you say that was 180 quid? Yeah. Because that, that actually looks like you've taken it back down from I the finish had, had a few tool marks. I had a few okay. tool marks, so I'll, I'll just take it back a bit. One thing about this, where it does tend to a lot of little splinters and split. That's why I'm wearing this mask all the time. You know, I mean, they are a nightmare, though. It's a lovely finish, but it's not that good a similar. Um, and what the city one is. <laughs> What I should do for that was the other one. Should I start to uh, practice in my voice? Just, you know, start preparing. Do some vocal exercises. Start preparing. Yeah. You're cooking. There ain't enough time in the day for that. Oh, oh that's <gasps> ah. <laughs> Sorry, outside voice, inside voice. Oh, I can't believe I said that out loud. <laughs> Yeah, I can. <laughs> no change there then, Mark. I can. Um, we've got a Kaylee DeBoer that's joined us today. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Hello, Kaylee. And um, Benjamin's come in as well. Oh, good old Ben. All right, Ben. Hi, Ben. Oh, oh good. Ben's here. Yeah. Oh, the Ben's in the chat. Brian. Bit of silly old son. Yes, mate. Have you got a premiere after Mark has finished with a skew on a bowler hat box that he's making? I do, I'm yeah. Not using a skew. Stop it, Pete. I'm not using a skew. <laughs> God, Why not? I do indeed. Pressure. You can't let people down. And there's, a link, and there's the link for it. Brilliant. So my Thanks. premiere. That tonight is a... Tonight I will be doing a... Multi... Sectional. Um, faceted. Multifaceted, oh, I am multifaceted bull. That's a great description, Mark. Thank you. Just if you're interested, people, that says something like yours <laughs> regret. Those that are interested, that are leave, if not interested, but leave now because Joe was about to sing. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh heck. Oh, no. Oh, heck. Oh, oh, heck. Well, it's having me oh. singing on Mark, so. That's true, actually, yeah. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> Chris is spending with Dodger starting to uh, causing a try to cause trouble again, I see. See what's he on now? Oh, he's given that Mark is now finishing pens with CA. <gasps> I'm all not. The bowler, oh, is he? All the bowler oh, hardly finished with CA. I didn't realise that. You can't use CA on Ebony. Your face. Your face. Oh, I think I lose dog singing. <laughs> Oh, what the pair of you. <laughs> 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 oh, 
terrible, Mark. Rex Stop I never said a word. It's the brown first, Rex B, and then it's the white. It's the original, and then the microphone's the white one, which comes on after. Cornish mate's in. Hi, Katie. Oh, Katie, Hi, how are you? Rex, if you use the brown one, you um, your sounds to about 240 grit, and it then takes on. So, say it's a 300 grit starting point, and it goes up to about 1,000 grit. And the white one goes on from there, so it's about a thousand grit to about two thousand grit equivalent, roughly. Oh, well done, Pete. Okay, uh, when did Katie pop in? Did I miss Katie there? Come on. You did miss Katie. Just you missed me in. saying Katie popped in as well. So, sorry, Katie. Yeah, I tried not to. In. I tried not to listen to what Mark said most um, of the time, like, but <laughs> she's half an hour you late. With the cakes. Is she? Well, she's dropped cakes off at Myers on the way, can she? Mm. I'll be all right. Hi Barry. Hi Barry. Good afternoon, hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Barry. Good afternoon, Barry. All right, that's that. What should we put on this? I'm uh, sure Sheen, I suppose, that'll do for me. The usual, oh, usual companion Chris. for George Shagret. Pardon? I said that's I the usual, usual companion for George Shagret. Uh, well, uh, Hans Sheen. They kind of go together. Yeah. Kind of game. Although yeah. manufactured by totally different people, of course. They're not by the same people at all, as some people know. seem to think. Yeah, uh, two different companies. But uh, yep. they did work close together at, at roughly the same time when they were developing yes. the product. So. Yep. Hence the Grit and Sheen web page or Facebook page. Right. They do work very well together. Do they? they? Exceptionally, yep. Let's soon find out. I've got to say, um, because this is a live and because you've just got to go for it on a live. I should let um, it go, region really, for a while. Hampshire Sheen is a better one. All waxes should be left to dry a little bit before you yeah. polish them. The, um, the chestnut one, the wood wax 22, is it? Yeah. That's yeah. A little bit more gloopy. So if you're using it on a live, you kind of need to stand back for five minutes and let it uh, dry on a bit more. Yeah. Which is why you see so much Very time for on lives. <laughs> Cornish maid has just asked. Cornish maid have just said, that's why I'm late. How many cakes do I need? All the cakes. Oh, All, yeah. the cakes. Yeah. All the cakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad, is it? That's nice. You see that, everybody? That is nice, yeah. 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 We can indeed, Terry. It's an excellent picture. Good. That wood looks right. like it might be a candidate for um, the microphone as well, isn't it? Yes, I was, but time it's I'll do that now, I'm going to run out of time. So. Yeah. Well, not run, it's no such thing as run out of time. I could be here all afternoon, but you know what I mean. Um, yep. Yeah. And okay. I'm missing him for microphones. So. You wouldn't. No. Sorry, why didn't you use a microphone? Okay. <laughs> so, Mark. Yeah. Can you stand up to, um, I don't know, 800 grit and then use just the microphone on its own? What's the point? Good too. If you could, you know, we'll be able to sing. I, yeah, yeah. Well, to stop Joe ah. singing, yeah. Ah. <laughs> but, but, but when you're in your own workshop, it wouldn't really matter, you know. You just use the Yorkshire grit because you can sing it in your own head. It's fine. That's what I do. I think people sometimes forget the reason why Yorkshire Grit was developed was to cut down on the sanding dust. Correct. So yeah. if you're in a workshop that doesn't have very good dust extraction or uh, limited space or limited dust extraction, Yorkshire Grit is your friend because it's basically dust-free sanding it is. from 240 Grit. Terry, Katie wants to know what you're making. Making a gavel. It's a gavel. With a gavel, a striking, Katie. With a striking plate. Like what an auctioneer would use. Or a judge. Or, or a judge. Or, or, or justice of the peace. Just release that a bit, I see. So in all your years of turning, Terry, what's your favourite wood to turn? 
Um, well, it's going to be U plus, I do love this. It's hard as nails, but. Oh, just nails, but. This is nice. I'll clean that end up later just to give that a sec. Bit of a hand sound. Actually, doing that right now. It's feeling a bit chilly in my workshop. I better put a smock on. No, you're getting old, mate. This one is. Getting old. Sorry, okay, yeah. so we've done that piece. <clears throat> now we have to do the head. Okay, was just saying she uses axe and stands up to 600, which she thinks you can stop after 240 as well. Mm. We don't know axe over here, so I can't. Oh, yeah, it. we don't use it really, so we can't tell you. What uh, it's all about. Just see if that's central because I did move the headstock earlier. I was going to say, I had to use that so I, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Did I check that was tight, did I? Yeah. There we go. Right, some design for this now. Hmm, so I think. What should we do for this? Put that one back. Two bees each end. Terry Butler says that we could, you could use the gavel to hit me with, Joe. Terry, I, I think she's, she's already purchased yeah, some, some instruments. Something more than that, I think, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's already got a policeman's junction. <laughs> Turned by yeah, Steve at SK up. Crafts. Now she's she getting a hammer. <laughs> Turned by Terry. Have you noticed I haven't turned anything that you could be, nice, get, nice, be nice. beaten with, Mark? I have noticed that, yes, and I'm eternally grateful. I'm turning a baseball bat next Thursday. <laughs> no, it's, got got a, little, it's got a nice split in it, but I think it only goes down about eighth of an inch. So that, that'll, uh, <clears throat> that'll turn out. Ben said he wet sanded with lemon oil for the first time. The other day, uh -huh. very pleased with the results. Good, well done. I've normally used um, tongue based oils for wet sanding purely because that's what I've got quite a lot of. Rob CP has suggested beads, coves, and flats. Yeah, I do a few of those, Rob. I think nice to see you in, buddy. Get the diameter down a little bit. It's a bit uh, <laughs> big. There are a few American suppliers of uh, Yorkshire Grit. I, I, I'm afraid the names um, escape me, but. Walnut Log, yeah. Jeff Walnut. Walnut Log, and yeah. Uh, Kaylee says it's a bit difficult to find. It's not easy to find, she says. No, it's difficult, it's just not easy. So yeah, we're we're not log is fire over there. Well, it is the walnut log. Or, uh, yeah, Rob Summerlin. Well, Rob Summerlin's Canada, uh, yeah, which that's is right. some of the uh, woodcraft, isn't it? Um, I've um, I've put the walnut log for Kaylee, actually. I've, I've responded to what she said. Oh, right. I think there's uh, Thanks, it uh, Jill. texts. Yes, but uh, tongue oil is quite thick. Um, not mm. sticky. But, uh, which is a, it's, um, a it. it captures the dust nicely, which is what you want. I should need to get this. Actually, we need to get this the right length. Karen Norman has joined us. Hi, Good, Karen. Afternoon. Good afternoon, Karen. Hey, Karen. Pencil. That's right. Hot Podgers said Woodworld of Texas in Dallas. He knows. And Ruby asked a question, Kaylee, where do you live? That maybe gives an idea where to point you in the right direction. Looks about right. Ian in the shed, Ian in the shed. Hi, Ian. Oh, snap, Mark. We both said it at the Thank same you, time. Thank you, good, oh, good, good afternoon, you. Ian. Hello, Ian. First, That's the first time Terry's used some kind of measure today. Yes, yeah, I was just checking that my guesswork was spot on. Yeah, that's pretty good. But, you know, 
Rex B is asking a question about lemon oil in or chestnut lemon oil in the States. If you look at the chestnut website, there's a guy called Terry who owns it. Bring him an email. He's very good at answering questions and he'll be able to tell you where to go. Right. Size, roughly right. Beans and coals, eh? Let's get it flat first, eh? 51 watching, my friend. Oh, well done, people. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Yeah. Uh, if you're enjoying what uh, Terry's doing, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, and if you've not subscribed to his channel, please do. I don't like doing this left handed, but they might. I, I will. don't know if you can make lemon oil or not, Casey. It's not made with lemons, that's for sure. It's lemongrass. But... Lemongrass, yeah. Yeah, it's made um, with lemongrass, isn't it? I wouldn't know where to start on that. I suppose it's probably just the seeds of it anyway, but the same token, it will be the seeds are gathered and then pressed, I would think. Rex is asking, do you use lemon oil, Terry? And what's your opinion I have done it in the past. Is? I haven't got any at the moment, but I have done it in the past. It's, uh, it's nice. I've got some. It's be beautiful stuff. It does, doesn't it? It, it smells. It smells very nice. Wayne uses um, a lot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, Wayne uses a lot of it. I find if I make something that doesn't really need a shine, and I put some lemon oil on it and put it in the shop, because it smells nice, it sells quicker. Yep. Mm. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, but it also makes the workshop smell nice, so I enjoy it as well. The That's thing you need to remember about, about lemon oil is that uh, it sh should only be used on unfinished wood. Any other um, finish has to be removed before you can use lemon oil. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Same for any oil, really, because it's got to soak into the grain. Yeah, yeah. But every rule is meant to be broken, and sometimes, especially if you've got a bit of punky wood, then, uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's use a little bit, use oil. a little bit of sealer. <laughs> To, yes. to save it soaking up too much of your oil. Yeah. Seth, yeah. Seth says, yeah. and I quote, I don't like making this cut left-handed. Brackets, then proceeds to make a perfectly executed left-hand skew cut. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, I <laughs> ah, just got to catch you that much. Okay. Right here, bro. Take your time. Take your time. Take your Not a catch, it's a design opportunity. That's why I keep telling myself when I end up with a matchstick. <laughs> yes, Katie, yeah. 8 o'clock. See you later. Cheers, Katie. Katie's got to go. Oh, bye, Katie. All right, bye, Katie. Enjoy your afternoon. This is hard. Horse nails. God is. <laughs> What's this for him, Wood Dodger? He's like the Ronnie O'Sullivan of wood turning. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's an Americanism because I have no idea who Ronnie O'Sullivan is. Snooker player. 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 Ronnie O'Sullivan, okay. I actually can't you, believe that you don't know who he is, Brian. You've never, never heard of Rocket Ronnie. Never heard You've of never heard of Rocket Ronnie. Nope. Rocket Ronnie. Blimey. Never heard of him. Snooker, I, I, I don't think I've ever watched a game of Snooker in my life, I think. Um, Seth has a question. Does lemon oil have a similar finish as Danish oil, i.e. Yes. a satin finish? It's yeah. A, the low build matte finish, yep. matte satin finish. You can apply as many coats as you like, and it doesn't build up like uh, Danish oil does, but it remains a satin finish. On the back of the tent, on the back of the tent, it says. 
Lemon oil gives a virtually matte, non-tacky finish to bare timber whilst extending, uh, enhancing the feel of the wood and leaving a pleasant lemon aroma. Ideal for finishing the inside of drawers and cabinets. That's what it says on a tin. Kayleigh's asking for some advice on funky wood. What we said, Katie, is um, if you put a coat of oil on your wood and it disappears into the wood instantly, then putting some thinned sanding sealer on the wood first, although you're never supposed to put that underneath oil, on punky wood, that will disappear in, but it will seal it just below the surface, so that when you put your oil on, you're not losing it all. It doesn't soak all the way in. Trying to match the other side here now. That's about right. Yeah. From Rex B says, Terry, do you have a piece of wanes on your wall? What is it, please? Do I have a what? Sorry, my wall? Piece of wanes. A piece, a piece of wanes work. No. No, I don't have any the... wanes work on my wall at the moment. Enough of my own. I think we don't have this. Joe's um, yeah. backstage. Oh, she's doing that there. Jennifer is last. That's the wrong button. She first Shall I leave, Shall I? Shall I leave her there? <laughs> yeah. Don't really want to back Thank in, you. do we? Hey, Joe. No, Joe's mate. Oh, it, was... it keeps kicking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was delightfully quiet. I mean, Mark. quiet. It keeps kicking you out. But Mark has it set up. If you if you threaten to sing, it kicks you out. Don't take it in then, Joe. Yeah, it's really Jennifer's got a question for you, Terry. Percent. Where do you get the green heart from? Because she can't find it in her dealers. Uh, I've had this green heart for about got to be twenty-five years, maybe longer. Um, I had a few planks of it given to me by a good friend of mine who was who had a job. Um, carpentry workshop and he was he had to uh, do a job with it and he had two or three planks left over you know like two meters by uh, uh, sorry th three or four meters by uh, two inch by eight wide so he said there's a couple there if you want them because they're going to be thrown away I was, or you know they'll, they'll be they won't be used for another job they'll probably be he, he said they'll probably be um, just lay around for years and then I'll, I'll ditch them because I want a room in the workshop to keep them. So. Typical joiner. Order far too much to the customer and then keep the spare. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, the customer supplied the timber. <laughs> that was the thing. The customer actually supplied the timber. And uh, he said, you know, because usually you supply timber at, at about. Hang on a minute. Just concentrate on this. You, you supply the timber at about. Uh, a quarter or more, you know, to allow him for waste. And uh, he didn't waste any. Gave it to me. So was that? There. Still got a little split there, but I don't... It's nearly... It's gone there, so that should be all right. I'll take it down a bit more, maybe. Nah, nah. Like <laughs> You're talking about yourself there, Terry. <laughs> yeah, that looks all right. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. We're just... Uh, bring this in here. Don't we all just do that in our workshops, talk to ourselves? Oh, yeah. All I the time. Myself anyway, wherever I am. Jennifer, you can get it from Robin's Timber in Bristol. What sort of price would it be? Any, any idea on the price? No. No, they don't give you the price. No. They make it up when you get down there. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, depends uh, how well dressed you are. Scruffy clothes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, depends how well dressed you are, is right. Yep. Turn up in a money suit, it'll cost you 500 quid a piece. <laughs> that's it. That's the way I do it. Just knock that little bit off there, so it doesn't pull out. There we are. I'm trying to see in here. Yeah, I knew that. But I'm trying to see in here without, without hitting the camera. Yeah, can't do it. Hit the camera. Hit the camera. 
No matter, don't worry about the camera. Yeah, that's right. I use a power and chisel, I was going to say it now. There's a bit of a good advice from Robert Dolman. Uh, timber reclamation yards may be a good place to have a look. They were used for piling on piers and lock gates. That's right, yeah, they were. Yeah, I've got a big catch here. Let's, let's got a redesign feature. Um, yeah, and uh, it's non-soluble, if you like to call it that. You know. Yeah, and Douglas has said, um, Terry, has it been put on the CITES list? And I think it might tell you that in that day. Uh, the Wood Database um, will tell you that. The, yeah, the Wood Database. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know. You want, you want to put that link in again, Pete, just to, for the Wood Database? Well, I know it's on, it's, it's on my list to use, so... To be honest. There you go. I mean, that's one side done. I'll get the other side almost. And then polish it up. So he's asking, will that split not compromise the integrity of the gavel? No. You can just, I can just imagine the judge smacking the sounding plate and the head just splits in half. No, what I'll do is uh, I'll super glue that at some point. I probably won't use this one in here. I'll just throw it away. <gasps> Just throw away. Don't throw away. Send to me. Well, send it to you. Then. And I'll try and replicate it. I'll try and copy it sometime. Now send it to me. I'll use timber and make something else. Oh, that's terrible. That's what I thought. He, I was just going to say that. As I was saying it to Pete, he'll use the timber for something else. I was just going to say it. Rounder there. So you can use a parting tool like a skew chisel. Well, basically, I've just skewed it. it. Or beating the parting tool does the yeah. same thing. Exactly, yeah. Great to use. You can even use the wing, let's see. Use the side wing and polish it up. As long as it's kept nice and sharp, it should be fine. Right, well, that you looks. You take part in the beginner's challenge, Rob. You've been, been turning as long as I've known you. But why can't you take part in the beginner's challenge, uh, Rob? He can't be a beginner. He's been turning as long as I've known him. Yeah, he's not a beginner. Well, how, long have you a beginner. Know, how, long, how long have you known him? The season oh. turner. <laughs> Since last year, yeah. sometime. <laughs> yeah. There's no way Rob is a beginner. Sorry. Well, how yeah. do you define beginner? Somebody who's just beginning. Dying. End of the day, any of you can take part in it. It's, um, yeah. for those who don't know, it's a Facebook yeah. group. <laughs> um, we're turning for beginners. And I set a monthly challenge, which they make the cover picture for the group out of. Um, and the challenge has got two parts. It's um, The intention is the beginners will make the pictures that go up on the banner. Yeah. And the more experienced will make videos or whatever to teach how to make whatever the challenge is. Right. What we got here? Sun people need Ed. That would be nice if I could get into that group. Well, David, just gives us a bit of 320. This is because it's not bad. It doesn't get troublemakers in, so Brian's not a member. Brian actually got barred from the group for advertising, apparently. I have no idea what I advertised or how I advertised, but there we go. You've been advertising. advertising. Yep, apparently so, yep. I have no idea what I advertised them, because I don't sell anything. No, it was a long time ago as well, wasn't it? Yeah, last year something. Last yeah, sometime. What group was it? The beginners wintering group. All oh, right. Well you're not beginner now, are you? So don't remember. No, Rob but I could, con I, I could still contribute. The... Rob is saying he started turning at the end of July 2020. So it's not quite a year, is it? Well, just about that. Yeah, pretty damn close now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Rob and I started okay. roughly, well, just about the same time. 
Mark Pritchard is having to go. This is Terry Tick, can stay safe. Thank you, Mark. Bye, Mark. Actually, there's a Bye, Mark. little line there I'd like to get rid of. In the right deep inside. This, uh... Yeah, if you can turn out a three foot trembler, um, I think you're um, very limited on your choices of calling yourself a beginner. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Yeah. Rob CP. Yeah, uh, he's not a beginner. No way, Jose. Uh, da, 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 da. Bit of sound in sealer. I don't know. I think we could be beginners. I mean, you turn something you haven't seen for a few years, you're a beginner again, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. Yeah. Right enough. So we are, Terry. The only difference between a beginner and an experienced turner, really, is Somebody an experienced turner will look at a project and know how to put it on the lathe. But you may not have turned that particular cut or that particular type of style for years, so you're years. cutting, you, you are a beginner. Yeah. You just know how to do it. Too much in the groove there, let's get some of that out. No. <laughs> Wood turning by Barry said he started in November 2020. Did you, Barry? Well done. We all got to start sometime. And so a lot of people the, started um, during the lockdown, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose yeah. if you, you know, if you treat it as uh, it's, a, it's, it's something you wanted to do, but you couldn't do it because you were working 24-7 or whatever, you know, etc. And then you were forced not to work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can then say, oh, I fancy doing that. No, I'll have a go at that. You know. That's kind of why I did. Yeah, in, in February of 2020, that's exactly what it is. And some people get point. hooked. Some people love it, and other people don't. You know, then they'll sell their bits and whatnot. So Rob, Rob thinks he wishes he could it. be faster. Yeah, but well, that's okay. Faster, dude. Rob. No, you don't need to Rob, be faster, Rob. Rob wants to be faster. It's not about speed, mate. It's not about speed. Speed will come with experience, though. I mean, once you once you get uh, into the way of handling the tools and. Like the correct tool second. presentation that speed will come anyway. Well, I said this before. But are you trying? Are you trying to be a production wood turner, yeah. or are you just I'm doing it because you enjoy it? Yeah. it? If you're doing it because you enjoy it, why do you have to be fast? We only have to be fast if we're making a living out of it. Yeah. You know. That's that's. <laughs> you know, that's you might only turn. What I think. What do I know? Yeah. You might only, only you yeah. might only turn one day a week, might you? Mm -hmm. But if you turn that one day and a half a day, then you've only done half a day's turn in a week, and you might not be able to do any more because of work. So you know. Certainly, so saying you've been turning for thirty years. Unless you're making money out of it. Who loves doing it? Yep. Kelly started in September, twenty twenty. There you go. But lots of us started during the uh, during the kind of old lockdown and give us something to do, really. Both. I did, I did some wood, wood turning 30 odd years ago, but I was mainly a knife maker. So I'm not, com I'm not a complete novice, but fairly. Right. You can't be classed a novice now either, Mr. Mark. Uh, no, you're not you're there. Because you're, you're kind of almost doing it full time now, so you've probably got more hours on your belt. If you would think about it, and uh, if they say it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert in anything, if you're only doing two hours a week, you've probably got 10,000 already. It's going to take you a long time. But if you're doing six or eight hours a day every day, um, it yeah, adds yeah. up really quickly, you know. So, um, yeah, it's true, it does. Um, experience comes with practice. I wonder when you're going to start, Joe. Yeah, she just sneaked out one in. You said oh, nobody was forget. expecting she's that. She's going to forget, you know. She's going to forget. <laughs> she blinking well didn't. She like a hawk. She was waiting for that moment. Yeah, I like a dream rat. <laughs> <laughs> so Rob when says he, he doesn't even turn. Uh, he doesn't even turn once a week. But that's okay if you've got other pressures that keep you from yeah, turning. That's right. but if you're only turning once a fortnight or once every month, it's just going to take longer. That's all. I didn't turn once it's a week sometimes, you know. Sometimes I go on holiday. <laughs> a lot of the uh, time yeah. you go on holiday, you mean. Wow. Well, <laughs> so, 
So uh, little uh, Seth has just said that uh, he started sometime in 2019, but didn't get serious. So that, that's when the hooks went in <laughs> until 2020. <laughs> so, and now he's captured. Hook, line, and sinker. I'm going to sinker. Right. Not to be too bad at it. Not too bad at all. And, and Barry has said he does it because I enjoy it and I like watching you a lot. There you well, are. Well, thanks very much for that, Barry. New friends all the time, Barry. Thank you. Meet new people all the time as well. It's good. I do wood turning because if I didn't, I might have to do some housework. Ooh. Well, there is that. If I'm out in the workshop, I can't get caught for anything. Ah. So Rex B says, um, Brian, since I got here late, are you wearing your normal calm smock? Well, I didn't have a smock on to start with, but I do now because it was getting a bit chilly in my workshop. But suddenly the temperature, the sun has come out and the temperature has rotted 20 degrees. Is it? Yes. It's, it's uh, 17 and a half degrees in my wood store shed and 20 degrees in my workshop. They talk about the look of the Irish, now. Douglas is asking you to put the link back in again, please, Pete, if you could, for the for database. Okay. It didn't appear the last time you said that you had put it in, Pete. Did you forget to press the send button? No, oh, press the send. I've just done it now, so it should be there now. Nope. Oh, that's because I haven't got a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> no spanner. Hey, I haven't got a spanner. Uh, uh, Mark, I can't give you a spanner because I'm not. I haven't got YouTube oh, on. I can't. Do, 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 do. Mark, do, do, do. Sort I'll, it. I'll sort that out later, Pete. You didn't tell me that. Right, you should have told that. me that. Should have told me that. Right. Didn't even notice. That's that. Didn't, didn't even notice. That's right. No. There we are. Part this off. Take it. Done. There we go, the wood day best. There you go, guys. That's where you'll find your information about all sorts of wood. <clears throat> if you put Green Heart in the search, it'll take you straight to that page. So Jennifer has said she started in late 19, but whenever it was was in lockdown, she was busier than ever. So she didn't get time to practice, but she's catching up now. Yeah, that's the thing, you see. Good job, Jennifer. Looking forward to seeing right. your stuff, Gal. Hopefully I can cut this off nice and clean. I won't have to work on it, huh? Douglas, you're a cheeky so and so. <laughs> it does. Says, uh, Douglas says, Thank you, Mark. You just can't get this stuff anymore. <laughs> Bit of polish on that end and refine. Let me do that in a minute. King of the links. Okay. King of the links. Yeah. King Earworm extraordinaire. Professional earworm. Yeah. Oh, well, technically, pizza with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah both, both of you, yeah. Right, so far we have, where's the other bit gone? Andrew, oh, head. Looking good. That's excellent. Something to whack it with. Oh, no. uh, right, I'll have to take this truck off. Change trucks. Just for anyone that doesn't know, Terry, what uh, Chuck and Joel said, if you've got on there, please. This this truck is the is a Axminster. And this is the super precision truck. They stopped making them back in nineteen fourteen twenty six. Yeah, like that. they stopped making them quite a while back. I bought I bought this one in nineteen eighty nine. Um, and there's a set of O'Donnell jaws. Those. Yeah, they've got O'Donnell jaws on it. Uh, but I've got the one with the three you know, three O'Donnell jaws. You know, that comes as a pack, so you get different sizes. Loops into the jaws are very, very effective and brilliant. And this so is an SK114. I was going to say, is that super precision the equivalent of the 114 now? 
it is exactly the same as that one, only it's um, it's just 100 millimeter instead of 114 millimeter diameter. Yeah. But uh, it's never given me any trouble in all those years, so I think I'll be keeping it. Uh, Woodworm Paul's asked a question. He says, uh, "How do you get a spanner?" Because I have no idea. Well, the well Woodworm is, Paul, uh, you have to have a nice, uh, kind host who goes onto YouTube on the live, and while you're talking on live, you click it, and then click the little buttons or something. Uh, that, and then basically, uh, Rex, people with Woodworm Paul, so, people with spanners are moderators on the channel. We can add links. We can block people, we can remove comments. Etc. We just look after the host from behind the scenes when we have a spanner. Make sure we're not abused. Well, I get abused I by have these. Spanner, so. I don't abuse Terry for <laughs> yeah. problem. Yeah. Right, so we got this on the SK114 chuck. This is uh, going to be the sounding plate, but as, if you can see, I don't know. If, can you see that all right now? Is, where are Move we? Like, your camera up. Okay. okay, well, I can't. I've got to. Excuse me a second, I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to alter this camera position. So there. Oh, it just makes us seasick that we're okay. How's that? Better? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. much better. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so this is. Um, <laughs> this is. Uh, it's got a big crack there. But it no, only goes down to crack. there. So but Jennifer has now need... become Mark. Having... Jennifer's now become Mark. Yeah. All right. Mark was talking on Jennifer's account earlier. Okay. So we all said hi, Jennifer, under false pretenses, really. Billy Woodworks joined us. Is it Chris? Yep. Hello, Chris. Hey, Chris. Yes, Rob, I do think you have uh, quite a lot of moderators. <laughs> Basically, I, I everybody, right. everybody on your channel is a moderator. In fact, I think everybody who's not a moderator stands out. Because everyone's blue. <laughs> I, I, rem I remember that live, uh, Rob, when you, you know, one of your first lives, I think. And uh, everybody who came in, you just made them a moderator. <laughs> it was funny. Rex B has asked the question. The question is on Terry's jaws on his choke. Does the USA yeah. have an equivalent? The USA? Um, no, I don't think they do, actually. I think they do separate ones. I don't think they have an equivalent, um, like the O'Donnell, jo you know, the set. I think they do separate ones, s similar to it. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fan with all the all the. Um, I think if they do, it'll be on the one-way chuck system. They they seem to have quite yeah. a range. Yeah. Douglas Mungham has asked a very controversial question. No, he hasn't. But it's controversial for some people. No, it's, it's actually not. An easy, it's an easy answer. It's just a whole lot of nonsense. What's the answer? Me? Jam first or cream first? Oh yeah. <clears throat> what are your fans? You don't go messing about with strawberries to make jam out of them. You just use strawberries. And you don't me mess about with cheese to make cream. You just use what the I've, cheese. Whatever you fancy, Douglas, is the answer to that. Good strong Thank cheddar you. cheese. Slice that's, strawberries. That's... Job done. Job done. You all have you all have valid points. Unfortunately, you're all wrong. <laughs> Cream first, nothing else. Oops. Everything else is wrong. Cream first. We gave the Cornish their pasties. So okay, I'll give them yeah, that. Okay. Give them their pasties. Yeah. Give, give them their pasties. There you go, Robert's but... putting an answer. Um, Nova makes a long nose jaw set. Are they tasty ones jam. as well, Rob? I don't know if they are or not. So Nova I makes them so they'll fit record power chucks. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Jam first. Yeah. I think it's just a lot of nonsense. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to let you all be wrong. Well, Ben, you can't spray cream. It's got to be clotted cream. <laughs> spray <laughs> cream? The man. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, Ben the heathen. <laughs> ben, I had concerns about you before we started this conversation. They've just just been confirmed now. You haven't got past that crack yet. Douglas, you put a little, you put a big blob of cream on the scone, 
you make a little well in the middle with the back of the spoon and you put a blob of cream cream. jam on top of the cream. That's how the jam stays on. Yeah. Apparently. But if you just yeah. stick the jam on first and then pop the cream on top, it stays anyway. So that's, yeah, that, uh, that's the contentious issue, isn't it? <sighs> I don't, know why I, so that, I don't know why I even call you people my friends. It's just, it's just all stuff and nonsense, really, isn't it? Just rubbish. Yeah, it's complete stuff and nonsense. How much for a cheese on toast, anyway? You sure it's not toast with cheese? <sighs> as opposed to cheese on toast? And no. No, it doesn't work. Cheese and, 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 just melt through the grill pan, mate. And, and do you put butter on first before you put cheese on? I, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, butter on first. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what I think, yeah. So it would be pretty stupid to put the cheese on and then butter on top, wouldn't it? It would yeah. be madness. Which is exactly the same argument I have. Cream is the butter. So you put cream on first and then jam on top. You've started also. me off. Right, I'm going to have to pay something. I'm going up and my workshop now. You know, half... If we have done a good job, people, in the chat, then when we yeah. watch Mark tonight at 8 o'clock... <laughs> Turning his ball out of ebony with a skew. He will still have steam coming out of his ears. Right. Stepping down a few times. Are you fine now, Mark? Yeah. I'm better. <laughs> well done, Douglas. See what you did again. Good lad. Chris, scones. Scones. Not scones. Not scones. No. Scones. No, that's not right, actually. And they're all oh. so, so Douglas says in lame Regis, the scones are huge and they put jam on first. Well, it, just because you're doing it wrong doesn't mean you have to shout about it. Yeah. When they're on the plate, they are called scones. <coughs> when called you beat scones. them, they're scones. No, they're scones. They're, scone. they're all, they're all scone. scones and always will be scones. It's just scone. It's just scone there, yeah. It's just scone. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob, Robo suggests... Anyway, this Rob, is a turn like look at what Terry's doing and shut up about bloody scones. Yeah. Well, no, because this is interesting. Scones are good with a slab of butter and vegemite. Look, Steve and Nicky do a cooking show on a Sunday. This is a wood turning show. <laughs> oh dear. Do you know what I'll watch? I will. I will. I will go to the shops this afternoon and I will buy scones. Cream and jam. We'll do and I will one, show you how to do them tonight during my life. It'll be torture because I can't eat them, but I'll make them. Oh. Right. I see that done. Wow. Not bad, is it? Yeah. Is that all right? Looks all right. Yeah. It does indeed, Terry. It looks very nice. It looks okay. Change camera. Yeah, oh, there you go. Better change it. In. Yep. Must be a little shavings. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry or raspberry? Get that for a cut. Never mind your jam. Look at that. Chris, Joe is fast asleep. I'm not fast asleep at all. <laughs> God blimey, she answered that quick. Didn't she? Did she? <laughs> Whatever we do, don't tell, don't tell Joe to calm down. Just a bit sharp, you no, know, just uh, not that sharp edge off of it. So it's bang, just slice me, and nobody else. No. Ah, it's all right. Rex, I've got a question for you, Terry. Mm hmm. Because your shop is so clean, how do you do that? My shop is so clean. Well done. You can't see the rest of it then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be right, fooled I by the bit you can see on the camera, Rex. Don't be fooled. I think I'm just going to... Mm, perhaps it does need a little bit of sanding. 
320 just to get it. I told you anyway. before, people, it's not a workshop. It's a hobbit hole. So, it's, but, Mark, the roof is eight foot tall. It's just it, when somebody that bothering? tall comes in, you know, it's, <laughs> and bumps her head on it, it's because <laughs> it's stupid. Just because Mark's six foot something. And Terry's only four foot, I mean, five foot something. Five four foot, foot not eight, I am. Five foot eight. Robert, shh. Joe's me just calm down. Oh, Listen, Hodgepodge. Yeah, I've just read that. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, we only lost by one point, one measly point. Oh, yeah, Joe's yeah, not, in, Joe's, Joe's not to, into that sort of thing. She, she's not competitive, so it didn't really matter. It's all a bit of fun for her. You've actually scored a single yeah, point in that round. Well, you know. uh, round two. Round two, we scored zero. A point in round two. Yeah, did you score yeah. zero? Yeah, yeah, we had a big yeah, fight. Yeah, we didn't no get point. one right, Zero. Did we? Zilch. That was just close, but Nothing. not close enough. That was Joe's fault. All right, you've made your points. <laughs> all right. Let's Joe's move fault. along. <laughs> From a completely neutral not competitive, are we, Joe? point of view, it was I'm terrible. I'm not competitive, no. <gasps> oh, you fucking liar. <laughs> Two of us. <laughs> right, I have to put my hat back on. <laughs> can't believe you just said that, Joe. No, I'm just a fair-minded person. Uh -huh. <laughs> With a competitive yeah. edge. You needn't talk. Uh, and me? No, I'm there's not a toss, There's no. a toss-up between who's the most competitive, Brian or Joe. The fact that they're on the same team is <laughs> quite hilarious, really. You should have heard Brian telling Joe off afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's truth and not too. No. Douglas Moore, Joe, are you competitive? Yeah, I suppose I am a little bit, to be fair. But oh. no more than the, no more than the average person. Of, there's an admission of milk. I'm just like any other person. So you are, Joe. Just like to win. You don't know what competitive is. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Right. Get in there, people. We're getting there. Do, 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 do. All right, Douglas, I have a piece of paper just to make sure the, the adjudicator is on his toes and he doesn't make any mistakes. Yeah, I know you're in trouble. Because it does happen. <laughs> I can wound up the next day with a recount, though, didn't I? You <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure you did, because I made a mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Benjamin says... He thinks we need to come up with some uh, better questions. Questions not made for old people. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Listen here, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, Every old and Mark's the oldest. Yeah. Made for old people. Hmm. I wonder. Right. Mark used to be really competitive, Rob, but he's just not quite so now. <laughs> that look all right on there? Can you see that? Yeah. It looks gorgeous on there, Terry. That's all right. It's a great so place. Let this sand and cedar dry off a bit. And we'll Your give it picture some... is, is crisp and sharp. Lovely. Yeah, it's good today. Well, yes. My old red one is a new camera, so I thought I'd try and do it that way, but... So I'll tell people what your new camera is then. Don't be keep it to yourself. My new camera is a Logitech C922. I thought you'd forgotten then. <laughs> C922. Logitech C922. And it's... Uh, oh, that sound is either on the bed of the layers. But never mind. And he bought it at Amazon Prime Day and got it for a, the bargain price of 60-something pounds. 60 quid oh. it was, yeah. Yeah, 60 quid on Amazon so Prime Day. Yorkshire Grit. Yeah. Oh, good. 
Joe's going to sing, everyone. Oh, oh, more, more Yoshi me, Charlie. Lily <laughs> shivers. You're going to sing, Joe? Rob CP has asked a question. Yeah. Is the block, is the sounding block um, green heart as well? Yes, it all is, Rob. Yeah, yeah I've... Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just do it all in the same. I was going to make it out of oak, the gavel. And should have really, because it's not so hard. Next, yeah, uh, for America. Pity can be soft as your face. Oh. Like oh. Your pretty. Rex, Rex B's asked about scones. Yes. Biscuits in America. We're, we're going back to the our scones, and they do have sugar in them. Yes. Just answering the chat's questions. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's about scones. We really with biscuits in America, Ben, but gravy is not as you know it. Biscuits and gravy. Oh. Yeah. That's just oh, like, dun that's just that like that Duncan. Well. Yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Has, the gravy usually has bacon bits in it as well. <sighs> uh, that's still better. Me. White gravy with bacon bits. Oh, oh nice. And grits. White gravy. Grits. <gasps> That's it. How many grits? Oh. Till I grow up in America. I thought this was a woodworking show. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that earlier, Mark. Shut up about it. Yeah, it's a cooking show now. With some wood turning done. Look at that. A little bit Is that of okay? wood turning on, through end, yeah. Well. That's lovely. That's absolutely yeah, Derek. That's, sorry, absolutely well, gorgeous, worth, Derek. Worth doing then. Absolutely. Worth messing with. Bit of the Hampshire of Sheens. Nearly finished. Apart from the fact I've got to glue the thing together and cut and put the wedge in, but probably won't do that on camera. So the advice of, on the tin of the uh, Hampshire sheen is allow it to dry a little, yeah. then buff. Well, it did get a little, so, about 13 seconds. Yeah, it would be better yeah. if it was sort of 5 to 10 minutes would be the little, would I think, be, yeah, the top we talk it's got, about. So, it's got, it's got it, the, 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 the stuff that keeps it together evaporates, as you see, yeah. and the wax goes into the wood. Hmm. So It's but, 12 minutes, exactly. Yeah. 12 minutes, is it? Yeah. Because that's how yeah, long it takes me to walk from the workshop to the house. Okay. <laughs> press a button Get on the interested. coffee machine, make a cup of, a cup of coffee, and walk back to the workshop. Well, that, that's just... obviously that's obviously when your foot's not stuck in a... Ah, uh, yeah, it walk, takes a bit longer walk. these days. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, last time I remembered, Lisa was bringing the coffee to you. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't there. know, Pete, Pete dropped a concrete block on his foot and broke his ankle. It's a bit clever. That's done, people. A scientific experiment, which is the hardest, bone or brick. That's yeah. lovely. Gorgeous. There we are. Hey, how are you going to finish the bottom? That's nice. Well, I'm probably not going to finish the bottom. because I'm just oh, going to... I'll, I'll make a jam chuck later for it because I've, I've got to take the tannin off, so... I shall... Yeah, release that of its. <laughs> uh, Lewis has said there's nothing better than some moose gravy and biscuits. There you are, people. Sitting around the campfire. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, where's the other bit gone? I don't know where the other bit is now. There it is. One gavel, stroke, whatever. Uh, and uh, the bit sticking out the end will be finished now, off. What I'll do now, yeah. Yeah. What I'll do yeah. now is I'll cut, a, I'll cut a slice down through there. I've got a wedge. In fact, I could do that now. I suppose. Well, you make the wedge out of green heart, yeah? I made the wedge out of green heart as well. All oh, right. Which camera well on that one there, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the, wedge down, the wedge will go down through there. with, with It'll be glued, wedged, sewn, sandpapered off. Perfect. And it'll end up like that. Can we hear a tap, says Ben Jowett? Yep, we can hear a tap. Although it's not fixed on, but... Put it on there, shall we? Yeah. Yep. Do, 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 do. Can you see it? No, down a bit. No. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Just take it, towards the headstock. Headstock. take it towards the headstock a bit. Let me see this. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's perfect. Excellent. Great. Good job. Yeah. Well done, Terry. That's it, team. I'll, I'll put the wedge in later because time's getting on. I don't want to see me. 
Oh, oh you can't that's... see me on the back door. So I'm going to say. Sorry, what are you have um, camera what are you on? Please, Can you keep it in the workshop? Yeah. Kaylee, the word was green heart. Green keep it in the heart. workshop, Pete. Yeah, hit, hit it every time they start talking about bloody scones. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> right, team, there we are, back. Oh, better go and get it, I suppose. Isn't it? Better go and get it. Yeah. Yeah. I won't sit down till you bring the... Because uh, you're going to have to get up to put the other ones back on the screen. Back, see? I don't know nice. where I am. There we are. Yep. Great project, that. Yep, excellent, Terry. Thank nice piece much. of work, mate. Good job, well done. So that will be uh, finished off this afternoon. I'll put the wedge in, glue it up, let it stay in glue, and do that, and then press, where am I there? There's the ugly bug ball. Here we go. Bing, pick a winner. <laughs> pick a winner. <laughs> well, everybody, it's starting to warm up in this workshop because the sun's beating down now instead of raining. I hope it entertained you today. I hope my earworms have entertained you today. Oh, we tried our best. I've got the wood turning glasses on, so I want to change the glasses that help me see the screen. Oh, they are there. I mean, Motley Crew too. So, thank you, everybody. Okay. Hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, I may see you again next Monday with Turning and Terry with Mondays. But if not, well, we won't see each other again. Thank you, <laughs> my earworms. <laughs> You're thank welcome, you, Terry. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, for everybody. Supporting me. Thanks, everyone. And everybody have a sort of the channel. And now it's time to say goodbye. Go get some lunch. Just hold on before we go, Chris. Oh, yes. Chris is asking, who's the painter? That'll be you. Me, Chris. Yeah. Uh, that took 15, 20 minutes or so. But I haven't finished it. That's just the first coat, you know. And just I before we go, well. just, just before we go, Mark, who's on tonight? Uh, that'll Mark's be on tonight, people. Eight o'clock live. He's, he's turning a boulder hat on real one. For a bit of fun. You may not have time to paint it. Oh, yeah, it's going to be painted. Is and then straight after me, Brian's got a premiere. Straight after Brian, Lewis the Klondike Craftsman's got a premiere. I got a question. Yeah. Is it, is it wrong to paint ebony? It's not going to no. be ebony. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he won't be painting it. It's going to be. Probably yeah. okay. it's, it's over there. It's yeah, too the answer to that is yes. Yeah. So, people, yeah. you've got Mark tonight turning a bowler hat. Because because you chat got box. onto him, pull that box. All that box, yeah, yeah, probably not, not that. Think, think got that already. Dish. Think butter, yeah, cut the hat here. Think butter dish. This one think I made butter. earlier. It's a dirt big <laughs> slab of butter. <laughs> so really nice comments coming in there, Terry. Oh, lovely really job! Well, thank you everybody again for coming in. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and it gives you a platform to have a chat with each other as well, and yep. take the make of everybody else. So bye for now, and uh, thank you, my earworms. I will see you all again next Monday. If bye, I bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.